about iron. So how about sources for iron for your infant who's between nine and 12 months of age? So remember, let's think back about iron, about why it's so important. So it's important for the brain and the heart and the muscles. Babies are born with iron stores that are transferred from the mother. Delayed cord clamping can help improve your iron stores, but by four months, you're only at 50% of your total iron stores that you were born with. So that's why solids need to really start in earnest and really strongly at six months. Now your infant is older, is able to feed themselves more. There should be no spoon feeding between nine and 12 months of age, um, unless a doctor has recommended it. Uh, infants at that age of nine to 12 months should be feeding themselves. So that is now the fancy word is baby led solids, but for multiple generations, this has just been an advancement of baby solid food. So iron sources for the nine to 12 month old are still mostly meat based. You might be able to give larger pieces, a little bit more texture. You don't have to worry about seasonings or spices. In fact, you want your child to love the seasonings and spices of your culture, of your family, of your household. So don't give them bland food. I get no wonder they throw it on the floor for the cat to eat or the dog to eat. So give them the food that is flavored straight from your plate. Um, at 9 to 12 months, if there's some cheese on the meat or some sour cream or other flavorings, it's not, uh, it's not worrisome. It helps them enjoy the taste of it. In fact, you will see nine month olds themselves taking food and dipping it into other food to mix the textures around. And that should be encouraged. The most important thing is that there's at least one source of iron every day from nine months to 12 months. If every meal of the day included some meat or something cooked from a cast iron skillet, or a grain that was boiled with a lucky iron fish, then your child would have a very robust hemoglobin at their one year checkup when we check for iron deficiency. So we want to prevent iron deficiency through diet. We really discourage the use of iron vitamins as prophylaxis. We want our children to get iron from their diet because once they go in that picky range, it's gonna be very difficult to get that vitamin in them. You want them to have a diverse diet um, and that texture is what changes at the 9 to 12 month time.